Hi puppies. Today's little story, I was going to tell you about the Puss in Boots. Are you ready? Shh, quiet now. Dick was the miller's youngest son, and when his father died, all that was left to him out of his father's fortune was Samkin the cat. Dick was rather upset about this, for his brothers had been treated far more generously, but the cat comforted him. Cheer up, Dick, said the cat. I'm worth more to you than a fortune. Just you buy me a nice pair of boots and there's nothing I won't do for you. Clearly Samkin was no ordinary cat, so Dick bought him boots of fine soft leather, even though it cost him everything that he had. Off went Samkin in his splendid boots and went hunting in the forest. There he caught a fine large hare and took it to the king's palace. He presented to the king, saying, It's a gift from my master, the Duke of Dandelion. Well, the king had never heard of the Duke of Dandelion, but he was delighted with the gift and inquired from Samkin whether he might not meet the noble duke so that he could thank him properly. My master would be honoured to receive you, said Samkin, and told the king how he might get to the duke's castle. The king said he would call the very next day and bringing his daughter, the princess Petal, with him. Next morning, Samkin told Dick, that if he would bathe in a certain river, it would bring him great good fortune, and he showed him a spot not far away from where he had told the king to drive. When he was in the water, Samkin ran off and met the king on his way. Something terrible has happened, he told the king. My master the duke was on his way to meet you when he was set upon by robbers who stole all of his clothes. At once the king gave orders for one of his spare suits to be brought. The kings never travel far without a change of clothing. Sam took the clothes and hurried to Dick and told him to get dressed in them. For, said Samkin, the king wishes to meet you and will most likely dub you the Duke of Dandelion. Dick looked very handsome in his fine clothes and Princess Petal fell in love with him on the spot. Dick rode with the king and the princess in their coach which continued on the route that Samkin had described the day before. Off went Samkin again running cross country to reach the castle that was the coach's destination. Now this castle belonged to the wicked wizard of Wump, who was ten feet tall and who was waited on hand and foot by a host of unhappy people whom he had enchanted and who were his slaves. I am told, said Samkin to the wizard, that you are a very great wizard indeed and that there is nothing in this world you cannot turn yourself into. True, cried the wizard and became a huge tiger and roared at Samkin. M -m -m most impressive, quavered Samkin, trying not to sound scared. But this is a trick my old master, the Wizard of Oz, would often do to amuse the children. But then he was a very ordinary wizard, and many things were quite beyond his powers. For example, he could never manage to turn himself into anything smaller than what he was. Aha, cried the Wizard of Wump, who had never heard of the Wizard of Oz. A very second-rate wizard, old Woz Woz. Not in my class. Now I can become anything, any size. A mouse, inquired Samkin. Easy, boasted the wizard, and changed into a tiny mouse. Samkin moved like a flash, pounced on him and gobbled him up. And that was the end of the wicked wizard of Wump. All the wizard's slaves were now free, and in gratitude to Samkin, they rushed around very busily, so that by the time the royal coach arrived, they were all lined up to welcome the king and the Duke of Dandelion. The royal party was entertained to a splendid dinner with all the best wines out of the wizard cellar. The king was most impressed with his new neighbour, the Duke of Dandelion, and by now Dick had fallen deeply in love with the Princess Petal, so that when he asked for a hand in marriage, the king was delighted. So Dick and his princess and Puss in Boots lived happily ever after. Ah, oh, what a lovely story. All right, puppies, that's it for today. See you next time on Dinkum Dog.